Hello YouTubers. I'm here today to show you how to test and install a thermistor in your freezer or refrigerator. I got up one morning and went to get uh, some cold water and my water did not seem as cold as usual. I felt other items in the refrigerator and they didn't seem as cold as usual. Hmm. And I said, damn. So I reluctantly opened up my freezer looking for a disaster. And to my surprise, the freezer seemed to be intact. Um, I didn't see any frost. I didn't see any icicles. Uh, my food was still frozen stiff. And even my ice maker was still making ice. So I couldn't figure this out. So you know the first thing that I did was to go to the internet, and YouTube, Google, and investigate to see why my refrigerator was warm, why my freezer appeared to be intact. So I found a lot of uh, useful information. I didn't find a lot of women uh, showing repairs of the refrigerator. So I proceeded to do many of the easier tests. Uh, I went back, I went to the bottom of the refrigerator, cleaned the compressor coils. I eyeballed my um, compressor fan. I made sure I heard the compressor come on. I uh, eyeballed my damper door to make sure the door wasn't closed when it should have been open, open when it should have been closed. And I also tested my heat element. All these things can be done before this test. Okay, first things first. Uh, let me take out the top tray. And then take out the ice tray and then I'm gonna tilt this on the right because of these notches here and pull it out the holes Tilt that. The next one, and pull it out of the holes. And pull them all out in the same manner. All the trays. Tilt to the right. And finally, I'm going to take out this bottom bin. And as you can see, I was using some flashlights so you could see. I'm going to take out this bottom bin. Okay, you want to undo this ground wire over here just by pulling it and letting it go in the back. Then on this side, which is the left side, you want to pull close to you. The left side is normally a little easier pull close to you as far as that pen will let you pull that left side and then lift it up from the bottom till it gets past these pull the left side out and bingo it's done as you can see, what's behind the door, the panel, is all frosted over. Okay, I am now in the refrigerator side and I'm looking for the other thermistors. See these two nuts? I believe there's a thermistor behind there. So I'm going to take my quarter inch tool and unscrew the nut.
push this up. See that little tab? Bring it out. Turn it around. Make sure it clears this little area up here. Turn it around. And you, voila! There's another thermistor in there. And then you could get a, uh, a tool to bring it out, or you can try to bring it out with your own fingers, but that's another thermistor. Okay, now we're at the testing phase of the thermistors. Like I said, there's like three to four between the freezer and the refrigerator. Uh, you want to get three to four cups, maybe the smallest cups you can find. I use this one. And then you want to fill it with ice and a little water. Now, as you can see, the thermistor is located up a little ways. So I had to use maybe my butter dish and I used a tool thing just to get this cup up to sit on the shelf in order to put the thermistor inside of it and leave it there comfortably. So you might have to do that uh, on all your thermistors, but you want to get that thermistor all the way in the cup in order to test it in the back. So let's do that with all three. Here's the evaporator thermistor in the cup. And here's a fresh food thermistor in a small cup too. Now mind you, if you're coils these coils are frozen over and you do this test right away you do not have to sit this evaporator thermistor in the cup because it's already frozen over it should come up as a 16.3 as it is if you do it right away but as you can see this is this refrigerator has been defrosted so this is the only way that I can test these thermistors and then you want to proceed to testing these thermistors out on the motherboard. But you want to use this ohm reader. This ohm reader is going to tell you whether you have 16.3 plus or minus 5% um, on the readings for your thermistor when they're cold. Now, you want to take this ohm reader and you want to turn it to 20, 20K they call it. Twenty. Okay, I'm in and I see the motherboard. The first thing you want to do is take out the prongs that say or read J1. If you get up close, you'll see that J1 is right here, J1. So I'm going to disconnect it so that I can test my thermostats without taking them out of the refrigerator. The first one I'm going to test is the evaporator thermostat. The evaporator thermostat is located in the freezer and it tells the motherboard to stop defrosting and more than likely when you see that frost on your coils this one might be the culprit okay as you can see as I said before J1 is out and I'm just gonna set it on top of the control board for testing and uh, shout out to uh, Shawnee Ryan 111, who's the only one that I found on the internet that showed you how to do this. So we're going to go over five notches one, two, three, four, five. Put the black lead in, and then we're going to proceed to testing with the ohm reader. I'm looking at the ohm reader. To see is it going to come up to 16.3. I'm testing one. I'm testing the fresh food. And I'm 
I'm testing the other fresh food. And I can tell you this, this third, this one, this first one I tested is real okay. low. I have my new thermistor out and I'm ready to go to work. I just went to a refrigerator store and picked it up. You can either pick it up online. If you don't know your part numbers, you can uh, find out online what your part number is to make sure you're getting the right part. And as you can see, the newer thermistors are white uh, underneath and they're flat on the top. So I'm going to proceed to cut this wire. Then I'm going to cut in between the wire to separate, separate the leads. Pull it a little bit. And then you need to uh, strip the wire. Be good to unlock it first. Heh. All right, let's strip. And let's strip. Okay. Then you want to make sure all your uh, strands of your wire are together. Just by winding them a little bit. Just wind them around a little like that. And that is ready. That's ready to be connected. I need to uh, snip off the one in the freezer now. Let me get a light to it. As you can see, I have uh, snipped off the refrigerator and stripped that uh, a little bit too. I use 1.3 on the uh, stripper because if you don't use the right one, then you'll strip some of the wires away. So now all I have to do is connect them and uh, put the vaporizer back up there, turn on the refrigerator and see what happens. Of course I have to uh, put the refrigerator back together. Alrighty.